In 1994, Liv Tyler, a talented American actress and model, took her first steps in the entertainment industry. Born in 1977, Tyler quickly caught attention with her enchanting beauty and undeniable acting skills. In the 1970s, Catherine O'Hara, a talented Canadian actress, showcased her impressive acting ability by portraying a variety of characters in numerous productions. In 1892, Dr. Gustav Zander, a visionary Swedish inventor, introduced one of the world's first exercise machines, the massage machine. This revolutionary innovation combined engineering, anatomy, and medicine in perfect harmony. In the mid 1900s, in Old Cairo, a woman would roam the narrow and bustling streets, dressed in characteristic attire of the time. She would don a kaftan, one of the first garments she had crafted herself. In the year 1937, in the small town of Finley, Texas, there was a modest yet lively post office. In addition to its function of sending mail, The post office also played a significant role as a meeting point and exchange of information for the local residents of Finley. In the year 1987, a young and talented actress, Courtney Thornsmith, was ready to captivate the audience and make a mark in the entertainment industry, winning hearts along the way. Around 1930, in a charming scene in the heart of the Navajo Reservation in Wind Rock, Arizona, a lamb gently approached a Navajo baby in their traditional baby carrier. This image portrayed the perfect harmony between nature and the rich indigenous culture. One of the needles of Cleopatra, an ancient Egyptian obelisk, embarked on a fascinating journey in the late 19th century. In 1879, the ruler of Egypt gifted the city of New York with this valuable historical artifact. In the 1950s, Elaine Stewart, a stunning and talented American actress, captivated the audience and achieved prominence in Hollywood. Leaving her mark in the entertainment industry during that decade. On the set of her last film in 1961, Marilyn Monroe exuded beauty and charisma, enchanting everyone around her. Despite facing personal challenges, she remained a shining and unparalleled star in the world of cinema. Tamoko is an ancestral tradition among the Maori, the indigenous people of New Zealand, dating back centuries of history and culture. This practice of permanent body and facial marking carries deep spiritual, social, and cultural meanings. In the vibrant decade of the 1950s, known as the Golden Age of Commercial Aviation, an elegant and professional flight attendant devoted herself to preparing delicious meals in the kitchen of an airplane. A photo published between 1915 and 1925 in the Detroit News, showing a man using Alexander Graham Bell's first telephone, a milestone in the history of communications. In March 1912, during excavations of the ruins at Tel Halaf in northeastern Syria, a remarkable discovery was unveiled. At this Mesopotamian archaeological site, archaeologists unearthed a monumental figure of extraordinary historical and cultural significance. In the year 1969, a fearless worker found himself at the bottom of Niagara Falls during a brief interruption of the water flow. This unusual and fascinating scene captured a unique moment in history. In the 1960s, Julie Newmar shone as one of the most stunning and talented actresses in Hollywood. Born in August 1933, she captivated the audience with her exotic beauty and impressive acting skills. In the year 1936, The elegant Mercury train of the New York Central Railroad glided majestically past City Hall, leaving a lasting impression on all those who witnessed the splendor of that scene. In the year 1911, a family from southern Ohio proudly posed in front of their washing machine, representing a symbol of progress and modernity that was beginning to spread in homes during that time. In the 1940s, Martha Heyer, a talented and radiant actress, shone on the silver screen with her enchanting presence. During that time, she starred in a series of critically acclaimed and popular films. On June 22, 1900, a striking portrait of Joseph Two Bulls, a member of the Dakota Sioux people, was captured. In this photograph, he displays his commanding presence, emanating an aura of strength and dignity. This photograph is a fascinating and valuable relic, capturing a unique moment in the history of Australian wildlife. It is the only known image of the 8.5 meter long crocodile that was hunted down in Queensland, Australia, in 1957.
In 1936, an innovative project emerged with the intention of making the second floor of the Eiffel Tower accessible by car. This audacious proposal sparked great interest and curiosity among many people. In 1987, in Germany, an unusual final exam was conducted for police service dogs, testing their ability to remain calm in the presence of a cat. This specific test aimed to evaluate the dog's capacity to concentrate and control their natural instincts. In 1918, Leola King made history by becoming America's first female traffic police officer. This pioneering figure broke gender barriers, paving the way for women in the field of law enforcement. In the late 19th century, the interior of a Pullman train car provided passengers with a journey in great style and comfort. Upon entering the car, the attention to detail and luxury permeating the environment were evident. In 1956, Natalie Wood, a talented and enchanting actress, was at the peak of her career. During this period, she shone in various acclaimed films, solidifying her reputation as one of the most talented actresses of her generation. In the vibrant city of Paris in the 1950s, a unique competition took place that attracted curious glances and animated laughter, a contest to choose the most beautiful legs. A man, dressed elegantly, assumed the role of judge in this unusual competition. With pride, a 17-year-old youth showcased his customized Vespa scooter, a manifestation of style and individuality. The Vespa, with its iconic design and popularity, was a symbol of freedom and youth at the time. In the year 1931, Thelma Todd, a talented and charismatic actress, reached the peak of her career. During this period, she starred in a series of successful films, showcasing her talent in both dramatic roles and hilarious comedies. The Quetzalcoatlus, a fascinating and awe-inspiring creature, is recognized as the largest flying animal that ever existed. With its gigantic dimensions, this winged pterosaur left an indelible mark on the history of prehistoric life. In the 1960s, an exciting technological innovation emerged in the world of communications, the hands-free telephone headset. This revolutionary invention allowed people to speak on the phone without having to hold the device, providing greater convenience and practicality. In the year 1870, during the final period of the shogunate in Japan, a striking scene depicted a samurai and his attendants wearing male armor and armed with naginatas. This image evokes the tradition and strength of samurai warriors, even during a time of significant social and political changes in the country. The Messerschmitt Kabinenroller, a German microcar launched in 1954, was a unique sight on the roads of its time. Designed to be compact and economical, this three-wheeled vehicle drew attention for its distinct and peculiar design. We have reached the end of our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your like. Click on one of the videos on the screen to continue your journey to the past.